Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, I'm so glad that the month of January is over. I felt like it was the longest month ever and never ending. So yeah, I'm so glad to see the back of January. Um, having said that, there were some really exciting things that I had discovered in the month of January. So I'm looking forward to sharing these items with you today. So let's get started. So to start off with, I wanted to share this um, piece of bamboo wood that I picked up um, before Christmas um, at Ikea. And it is a stand for your mobile and tablet. And we made use of this quite a bit um, in January. And we used it um, for FaceTime calls with the family. And I used it in the kitchen to follow recipes while I'm cooking. And my son used this um, for when he was using his tablet um, to play games, obviously. Um, but it's such a neat little thing. And um, it's made out of bamboo. I think I said that already. Um, but it's got these grooves and you can put your mobile or your tablet in it and it holds it up. What a genius idea, right? So this is what it looks like with your phone in it. And this is what it looks like when you put your tablet on it. So I thought it was a pretty good device um, to use. And my husband was even more um, happy with it than I was, I think. So yeah, I think it's a really good purchase considering it's only £2.25 from Ikea. Um, so it's definitely £2.25 well spent. And then carrying on with home decor, for Christmas, a friend of mine had put this um, little planter together for me. I think it's like the cutest thing possible, right? Um, it's got little succulents, so she's obviously got the pot and she's put all the little succulents in it um, with the little decorations of the shells. Um, I am the biggest person out there to kill plants, I think. I can't look after plants for the life of me. I always end up overwatering them and always get these little bugs then flying around it and so yeah. I'm surprised I haven't actually killed this one as yet. But I think nevertheless it's like a brilliant addition to our household and my son has even given it a name, Spiky. How original hey? Um, but yeah I love it, it's such a pretty little thing and um, I'm hoping I'm not going to kill it anytime soon. I've been given strict instructions to only water it every few days so I've kept up with that and it's still here so I'm so happy with it. And then moving on to body care, I have been loving these shower gels. Um, my um, favourite one is the rose one, um, obviously. and. Um, but yeah, they are just the really nicest um, shower gels to use because firstly, they're soap free. I have the driest skin on earth, I feel. So it's really, you know, um, nice to not over dry my skin with something which is like fragranted. Um, and it's all like enriched with aloe vera, which is another bonus. Um, but I have got three fragrances here. And the first one, which is my favorite, um, is the rose one. And this has got notes of roses, rhubarb, and musk. You've got the yellow one, which has got notes of cocoa, orange blossom, and jasmine. And then this burgundy one, it's got notes of white mast, neroli flower, and ginger. So I think that these have been so lovely to use in the shower. And I know secretly, that my husband and my son loves them too as well. So yeah, these are the quarterly um, shower gels that we've all been loving. Next um, is the Nyom um, Night Sleep Pillow Mist. So my sister actually bought this for me uh, before Christmas and I think she's gonna tell me something that I'm looking tired or not getting enough sleep because Oh my God, when I saw this, I was like, what are you trying to tell me? She's given me this with a like a, a bath foam thing as well, but I haven't tried it out yet. So um, I'm looking forward to trying that this month. Um, but this is the uh, Perfect Night Sleep Pillow Mist and it's got English lavender, chamomile and patchouli. Um, so all you gotta do is spritz it on your pillow before you go to bed and you lie back and breathe in through your nose for seven seconds and out through your mouth slowly for 11 seconds. 
and then you're in La La Land, I guess. But I've used it on a good few occasions and you know what, I must admit, it's so lovely because it's that warm scent and as soon as you like breathe it in, you know like this is time for bed now, Milu. Yeah, time for bed. So yeah, I really have been enjoying this and I'm gonna try and keep it up because the entire room actually just smells for hours. And the other thing that um, I've been loving this month is this um, CeraVe Moisturizing Cream. I have the driest of skin ever, I feel. Or how much cream I put on my hands, on my body, it's just constantly dry. So, um, I actually bought this for my body, but I ended up keeping it near my laptop, so when I'm working, I am applying this at least three or four times during the day. And it is for dry to very dry skin, it's fragrance free, and it actually creates a little barrier between your, your skin um, so when you're washing your hands, it doesn't over dry it, I guess. Um, but I have been loving this and I have got the 454 grams, I know, right? Special. I have um, so been using it, like I said, and it's just like a white cream and I just take a bit like this and then my palms and arms um, and then just going slightly up my arms like this over my elbows and it just soaks it up, like it doesn't create that stickiness or you know, it doesn't um, leave a, like a slicky feeling to your skin as well, but it absorbs like really super quick. Um, I've been loving it and so are my hands this month. Or to my favorite bit where anything food or drink related, I'm there. And um, I know for January, I have been loving the Yorkshire Tea Malt Biscuit Tea. And this I have been loving because it's a great alternative just to your black tea with milk and sugar or your herbal teas. Um, it's like, it says here, it says it on the packet, tastes like tea and biscuits and exactly that, it tastes like tea and biscuits. So I tend to have um, tea at least two to three times a day and I have like a breakfast tea um, in the morning for breakfast and then I, for a mid morning um, tea I would have a herbal tea and then for the three o'clock tea I bring up the bad boy yeah this tea is like mm, oh my god it's like it's just so nice you know and it's kept me going for through January like January like I said has been a slog and um, it's my go-to tea um, for three o'clock and then to finish off I have been obsessed with the stuffed vine leaves um, since December and my cravings have actually gone further <laughs> into January but um, they are like the Moorish snack that you could like you just end up eating like five or six of them and there's like eight in this packet and they're stuffed um, vine leaves filled with like rice that are flavoured with dill and mint and um, yeah, I've already, as you can see, have been snacking away. I couldn't help it, sorry guys. <laughs> um, but they are in the range at m and um, You can get it with the nibbly pizza and you can get three for seven pounds. I obviously just get three of them for seven pounds. Um, so I discovered them before Christmas and the calories are like only, what, 34 calories um, per vine leaf. So, you know, I think it's quite good. You can have them hot and cold. Um, I tend to have it um, cold with a glass of wine or hot as a, like a quick snack if I'm like, you know, a bit hungry after lunch or whatever. Um, but yeah, they're just so good. I might actually have one of these right now as well, actually. So, yeah. Let me just um. Mm. I think that was the stuff by leaf dance there. <laughs> I'm already looking forward to next month's um, favourites. Thanks for watching and hopefully see you in my next video. Bye! Over. I am so over it. I was so over it um, and in the UK we're still in under a lockdown and no and my son used it with his tablet my son used this um, with his tablet my son used this when he was and my son was using this um, with his 
So I actually struggled to get this tea at um, Tesco's. I had to go to Sainsbury's or a Morrison to get this. Um, they're just not stocking in Tesco's. Um, so yeah, if you really are keen to try this and and um, you know try it and get your so if you are keen to try this, um, yeah, the best place to get this tea is either Sainsbury's or Morrison's.